ready, everyone. All-star action is coming your way. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Keller. <laughs> this place is going to go crazy. Tonight, the best shooters in the NBA battle it out in the three-point contest. It's time to find out which player has what it takes to beat the clock and his opponents. Well, right next to me, I've got somebody who knows a thing or two about winning this event. So tell us what it takes to do just that, Steve. Well, I did win the event once, Spark, in 97, and it really is a matter of finding a, a rhythm. The game comes so fast, the, you know, the, the shots are coming one after the other. You've got to get into a groove, get into a rhythm, and then just let it ride. Here we go with Damian Lillard. He'll have 60 seconds to try and make his way through five racks. Each one containing four regular balls and then the two-point money ball. The maximum score is 30 points, Kevin, but you've got to get into a really good rhythm right off the bat. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's usually pretty easy to tell right away whether a player has it going or not. Your memory has to be very short in this format, like less than a second. You have to put every miss right behind you. Forget about it. Yeah, because one miss can easily turn into two and then three. And then you start racing because you're worried about the clock. And before you know it, uh, you're pretty much out of it. That gives him 12. That's 13. He's at 14. Nearly perfect there. Just one miss on the rack. Now with 17. Now up to 18. He tallies 18 points. His stroke looked terrific in that round, guys. Well, he didn't waste any time getting things started either. Really rifled through that first rack. Didn't miss one ball. And I thought that was the key for the rest of the round. So it's James Harden ready to go. When Harden came into the league, people were unsure if he'd be able to shoot with range in the NBA. He started out a little slow, but he's become quite the scorer and sharpshooter. And a lot of people thought that would be the case. It was just a matter of when. He's got five. Money ball, no good. Six. Seven points. Can't get the money ball. Now eight points. Nine points. Ooh, Harden starting to feel it. That's four in a row now. Down to the final rack. Yeah, this is how you do it. And a great finish here. He's got 16. Hang on tight. That's nine in a row. The round ends, and he's got 19. He was really enjoying himself out there that time, guys. You know, he ran a string of, of main shots up to 10 in that round. So you can see when he gets it going, watch out. So here's Durant now. A lot of people wondered how Durant would play when he first came into the league, whether he'd be a three or a four. But it doesn't really matter what position he is. He can play any spot because he's got incredible touch and great range. He's got eight. On the money. Nine consecutive makes. He is in a flow. That's 11 in a row. It's a barrage of threes. A three-point lap for him right there. He's got 16. And Durant really starting to light it up now, guys. Tremendous. That equals the best score of this round, Kevin. 22, now 23. A 23 point round for him. What, what an unbelievable round. Right away you could tell it was, it was gonna be special. Yeah, he had a good time out there. He hit a few in a row and then he was off and running. I mean, he ended up burying 11 straight. So it'll be Chandler Parsons here. A score of 18 or higher is what he needs. No easy task here, pressure's on. Money ball, no good. Five points now. Now is six. He could have taken more from that rack, only got two points. He's up to seven. He's got eight. He needs eight points more. He 
misses more than two, it's over. Oh, and uh, he will not advance to the next round. Going to just finish out the string here. Yep, just not enough. He finishes with 14 points on the board. And so we'll see Wesley Matthews. One way to ensure success in this event, as we've learned, Steve, is by hitting those money balls. Those give you a nice jolt of momentum. Yeah, that's uh, that's really the key. I mean, if you can knock down all five money balls, you really don't even have to shoot a high percentage, and you can still come out on top. He's got his rhythm now. Wes Matthews locked in. Trains the money ball. He needs eight points more to stay in contention. And he's made all three money balls. He needs six more points. Good for 13. He needs three more points. Good momentum here to close it out. At 16. One more to stay alive. He's moving up. That gets him into a third place tie. He hits the 20 mark on the nose. His stroke looked terrific in that round, guys. Well, the key was he, he cashed in on every single money ball. Five for five on the last ball in each rack. That's just huge. That saves your round. So it's Trevor Ariza ready to go. He's in a good spot getting to go last. It's no mystery how many points he needs to move on. He's got to have a 19 or higher to stay in it. He'll need to be at his very best to top that score, guys. Now, three points. Drains the money ball. Now is six. He's only got a cushion of two more misses, guys. No more than that. Two acts remaining. No messing around now. He's going to have to be at his best the rest of the way. Ten points on the board. He needs eight more points to advance. Twelve for him. And Clark, he's out. Not enough to make the next round, Kevin. Yeah, that's it. It's academic from here. He scores 13 points in the round. Durant's got the best score in the qualifying round, guys. I'll bet he's excited for the finals. I think we've seen an outstanding competition so far. I mean, the scores have been tremendous. Yeah, I agree, Clark. Excellent shooting across the board. This is very high-quality stuff. So it's James Harden ready to go. Well, if you watch James Harden in college, where, by the way, he was the Pac-10 player of the year as a sophomore at Arizona State, teams would have to mark him and watch way beyond the three-point line. <laughs> Mark, he's always been a deep threat, hasn't he? Yeah, he has been. Steve, he's uh, some kind of shooter now in the NBA. He is, and then he uses that threat uh, to also get to the rim because he draws the defense out and then puts the ball on the deck and gets, gets all the way into the paint. So really a, a versatile, multi-dimensional player. He's got 10. He's hit all three money balls. That's 13. Well, now he's got it going. Now to 15. He's made all four money balls. Pushes it to 18. That makes it four straight for him. The round ends, and he's got 19. His stroke looked terrific in that round, guys. Well, we all know how important the money balls are in this event, and he hit four out of five of them. That's very good work. And so we'll see Wesley Matthews. A hot start is pretty essential, isn't it, Steve? I mean, it seems like we rarely see guys recover from a bad first rack or two. I think the key is that first money ball, Clark. Uh, you know, even if you miss a couple early, if you can make that money ball on the first rack, you get a couple points on your belt, and all of a sudden you can settle down and start firing away. Money ball, no good. At seven. He's got eight. Only one missed to spare the rest of the way. And that about does it. Too late to make up ground now. Yep, out of reach. 
He's got 12 points to show for his efforts there. Well, not his finest showing. I think we can all agree he could have done a lot better. Yeah, it seemed like every time he was starting to get into a good rhythm, he just couldn't capitalize on it and he quickly fall out of his pace. And so we'll see Kevin Durant. He knows how many points it's going to take to be crowned the champion. Let's see if he can get it done. So it's 19. That's the score to beat, guys. 20 would give him the lead. He's got five, six. KD stepping up and knocking them all down. Nine points. He's got ten. Eight more points for him to tie it up. He racks down, two to go. That gives him 12. Six points more to tie it up. Make that 14. Three of four on money balls. Two more to tie it up. Now up to 18. He tallies 18 points. And so that will do it. What a tremendous performance. And of all the great talent assembled here today, a great achievement indeed to take home the three-point contest championship trophy. It was a great event. There's always so much excitement packed into the three-point contest. Yeah, no question, Clark. Those were some real theatrics we saw out there today. And the drama, the excitement, this year's three-point contest had it all. And it was our pleasure to bring it to you. For myself, Kevin Harlan, and my partners, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr, thank you, everyone, and good night.